I love the music reference of Grease. That made me so happy. Together like room. Welcome back to His or Hers. I'm Kaylee. I'm Jesse. The secret life of pets. <laughs> you want to know the secret life of our dog? Sleeping. And then when we come back, he eats and makes a bunch of noise. So it focuses on two dogs, the little terrier named Max, which you guys have seen on the preview, and the big brown shaggy dog named Duke. And so the movie's about when their owners go to work, what they do in secret. He gets a new roommate that his owner adopts from the local shelter. And he's not very happy about that. Then it goes into the problems and the conflicts that they have probably over just like one night and then they get into some trouble and some drama with some thug bunnies and shit and that's pretty much what the movie is about it's actually not really about what they do at home all day while their owners are gone that's only probably for like the first like five minutes the trailer didn't really explain what the movie was about I, at least the trailer i saw whatever they showed in the trailer that's exactly what they show in the first five minutes so it's just I f for the first five minutes of this film, I, I felt like I was just re-watching the trailer. Mm -hmm. So the movie was entertaining. Our son had a blast. Uh, he was over in his chair just giggling the whole time, dancing, like... um, making, uh, or telling us how cute every animal was. <laughs> just like that. You have pets and you relate to them in like such a way, you like start laughing because you're like, my dog and my cat does that. So I mean, obviously stuff that they did we found was funny just because we were laughing because we were like, oh my god, like their meds and yeah. stuff. If you're a pet owner, you'll definitely pick up on these cues and they're actually really funny. It is made by the same people that made Minions. There's a lot of Minion references throughout the movie that I picked up on. This movie, I wasn't expecting it to end so soon. There were some scenes that just felt out of place the, t the two dogs are kind of having a bonding moment and then all of a sudden they just skip to this scene and i think the the reason for that was that they didn't have enough material to make it an hour and a half movie they just added it as a filler like the people that wrote this like, oh we need to have a musical in there and they just added this scene so it's called the secret life of pets and um like i said the first five minutes of it is what we saw from the trailer i thought that was actually really interesting and i would have loved for this movie to explore a little more of that than they actually did i was actually enjoying you know seeing the different things that the pets did while their owners were gone and yeah i get that the first five minutes were just you know it was just the introduction but i think if they went along if they went down that road that would have been a little better than than what they actually created there was a scene and it really bothered me because it took me back to Superman vs. Batman and I was like, God. There's like a point where they're fighting or whatever's going on and then it's like, friends. Huh. And I'm just like, what's up with this in movies? Like, yeah. that's not how things, like, you wanted supposedly like revenge or whatever and now you're like, okay, it's cool. A it's a kid's movie though. <laughs> It is a kids movie, but it took me back to like, you know, where they're like, we the same mom name. Oh, we're friends. I'm a saver. It's like, okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just want to point out that the fluffy bunny uh, voiced by Kevin Hart was actually really funny. He was the main reason why <laughs> I'm just thinking about certain scenes. Just make me laugh right now. It's a f white fluffy bunny. How That's named Snowball. That's named Snowball. How evil can a white fluffy bunny named Snowball be? Oh, as evil as his cotton tail. Duh. So overall, I give this film a 7.5. It'll definitely entertain kids. Uh, as far as entertaining adults, I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's some things that you you can we can relate to, and there's a lot of jokes in there that if you have pets, you'll definitely pick up on. Well, if you have pets uh, and you have a kid, yeah, definitely go watch this movie. You guys will have a good time. All the kids were laughing their little faces. Yeah, the kids were having a blast. So I give this movie a 7.52.
It was alright. Secret Life of Pets. Have you guys seen it? You guys have? What did you guys think about it? If you haven't, did this review help? Are you going to go watch it? Whatever you guys think, comment below and let us know. And if you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing more stuff like you saw, then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful.